What's going on, guys? Peckers is for the wise guys, and I'm here with Joey Ross, the homie, guys gang, guys gang, guys gang. I, I see you, big fella. You got, you got. What, what happened to there? Uh, I went undefeated with Geist. Um, he ate glue. That's what. It was. Yeah, I, I ate glue, and that was really good. I've got my glue. I'll give it to you someday. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you ready? Let's get into it. All right, so I run like a very small Dogmatica engine. Um, I run two uh, Ecclesia and one Floor Release. Uh, pretty simple with, with the monsters three multi figure, three Mel Zeke, two uh, Silk. And I'm only playing two uh, Marionetter because I just had too many monsters, I feel like, um, when I'm running the Dogmatica engine, so I just cut one of them because I usually side it out anyway. Um, and then I'm playing the one Conk, which came up. You, if they declare an attack when you have an when you have an Altergeist card in general, like it doesn't matter if they target an Altergeist card, you can just negate it. And then you can spoofing it back into your deck and then negate it again. So it's like it's, it's busted. Like people didn't realize that. Um, like there's a lot of loops going on. Yeah, in it's decks. it's pretty funny because then you can just negate a bunch of stuff too. Like you can negate their like their field spell because it negates a face of card. Um, and then I play three in the deer servant. Um, I side out one a lot because. I don't know, like, I feel like I don't have a lot of extra deck space, or side deck space. And then I play one Harpies, um, literally just because I lost to Mystic Mind one time, and I'm, like, never losing to Mystic Mind ever again. So I need to have at least one out to Mystic Mind. Like, literally just one. Um, my traps are really wonky, um, but I actually found a lot of success with them. So I'm playing two Torrential Tribute. Um, I'm playing one... Uh, one manifestation, three spoofing, obviously. I'm playing one dimensional barrier. This card actually came in handy like five or six different one, times. One, one dimensional barrier, and I'll, and I'll explain because I, I, I was gonna play two, but I decided to play one. Uh, this were this this is like literally busted. Uh, this guy had utopic future um, and like a bunch of lyrilist cards. I just declared exceeds, negated everything, and torrential tributed him, and then he just lost the game. So um, yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, three, three Imperm, obviously, three Judgment, playing one Skill Drain, which is literally broken, by the way, and then the, the tech card of the day is one Mirror Force. Bro, are you okay, bro? When I tell you guys, pe people will run into this Mirror Force. I had four games today where people ran into this Mirror Force with four or five different monsters, and they just lost all of them. So guess what? If you Mirror Force me, I'd have went all the way home. Bro, you know Bro people run into the mirror force. I'm telling you, like, and I always sign it out once they realize I have it. But like, it'll it'll catch someone slipping and you'll auto win the game. Like, it's literally an auto win. Like, I'm not kidding. What about Stormy? Uh, three strikes, no. <laughs> uh, two protocol. I'm running two uh, punishment. And then I also, this card is literally like the best card in the entire game, in my opinion. It's three crackdown. You do not understand how good this card is. When you don't want to, you don't want to send anyone's cards to the graveyard, like Eldritch, you can just take their Golden Lord. And then after they activate uh, their effects, like they don't control an Eldritch on the field. So it just fizzles out. Like they just summon the monster, whatever, or the trap. And then um, Dragon Link, you just take their first monster. Well, now they don't have shit in the graveyard and their combo. If you, if you take my Emperor Penguin, I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> exactly. Like it literally like a lot of cards can't be destroyed by card effects, but they can be targeted and then you just take them. You know what I'm saying? So like it's like Crackdown really was like a big MVP this uh, today, but that and Mirror Force too. Um, but literally what won me, I have, uh, you want to do the side deck and the extra deck too? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the side deck, the side deck what, what really won me games as well. He actually got first, just so everybody knows. He actually got first. <laughs> yeah. Um, got first. So I play three Waking the Dragons. He didn't make me um, <laughs> up. Dude. Um, I beat myself. You do not know how many oh. times people will harpies me, or they, uh, for example, round one, I got Zeus, and I just summoned uh, Ultimate Falcon and just beat over it and just beat him down to death. Right. Um, I'm playing. One dimensional barrier. No, I'm playing two more dimensional barriers just in case uh, for the for the Despia matchup. Uh, I'm playing three kaiju's, um, which are the Gamma Seals, mm -hmm. and then I didn't I didn't actually side this in at all today. But I'm playing three Iron Walls, which is literally just insane. Like Stop it stops like every deck basically, <laughs> even, and it stops evenly too. You can chain evenly. This deck over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it, it stops like Infernoids, it stops like Shadals. Uh, birds, like everything. I'm playing uh, two Heavy Storm Duster just for back row decks, mm -hmm. and then two Secret Villages. Um, never drew it, not a single time. Right. And then the extra deck, um, I'm playing uh, a Link Karibo, 
Dragoons, Ultimate Falcon, Last Warrior. Those are my targets uh, for Waking Dragon. And then I'm playing Hextia. I'm playing three Hextia, actually. Um, uh, three Hextia. Where is it? Uh, obviously, pretty standard. The, Still the best extra deck card. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, one Phoenix. This card won me the duel today. Um, Avermax, you can go into it um, pretty easily in this deck. Um, but Avermax just like beats over everything except for Boral Sword, and then like you just you win. I'm um, playing one Prime Banshee. This card sucks. I don't even know why I play it. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's literally off. I've never gone into it one time. Spot. Uh, I'm playing one Paleozoic. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. That's my uh, tech, my tech. Yeah, uh, <laughs> someone tried to lightning storm me and I just banished it from the graveyard when you send it off into Nadir's. GG. Um, and then <laughs> just negate it. So uh, Sky Prison plus that is like, there's no point in touching. There's no point, there's right. no point. Right. This card I'm telling you is right. literally busted and won me the entire, it won me a, the zombie matchup today, is Altergeist uh, Kedolga. And what it does is when you inflict damage to another, uh, when an Altergeist monster inflicts damage other than this one, you can special summon a monster in their graveyard to a zone this points to. So what I did was I attacked directly with Melizeek, um, and stole their Boulder Rock. And then they tried to Ash wow. something and I just negated it with Boulder Rock. You can still use its effects, you just can't attack. Which is like, I don't give a, f a damn about that. It's like, like I can um, pee on legs. Literally, you can, <laughs> like, you can literally take anything. You can take anything and activate it. It's, it's so good. Um, and it's only a link two, too, so you, 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 it comes up a lot. And I'm playing an, two Entis and then a uh, Titan Clad. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. Best Ultra Geist player ever. No, ever. definitely yeah. ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ever in the history of humanity. In the history of Geist. Ever. Don't there you agree, Aaron? Yes, sir. Yes, best. Sir. There ever. has been one Geist best. player. Nope, nope. I don't want to hear it, bro. Best ever. Nope, nope. Nah, we're out of here. Uh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate I it. it.